attention, especially Cao Jingyan and uh, Deng Ya and Xia. And uh, I will report a recent joint work with uh, Professor Cai on environmental protection. If I have time, I will talk about the zootype lemma. Uh, first, uh, actually, my talk will be divided to uh, two parts. The first part, I will talk about uh, the motivation and the main result. <clears throat> motivation. And uh, many results. Uh, first, I will talk about the primary motivation for this paper. And uh, actually, we try to answer a question by Professor Damayi, possibly uh, three years ago. Uh, first, let us set some notations. Uh, we considered pi x to delta k delta is in C, is an open disk. <clears throat> is a holomorphic family of uh, compact, compact manifolds. And uh, each fiber XT. XT is high inverse T uh, for any T in delta K to be projected. The question is then for any <laughs> integer M positive is uh, the M genus <coughs> PM oh, sorry. XT defined as dimension C H zero XT KXT power M uh, K K is not canonic bundle. Canonic bundle of XT. Uh, is M <coughs> genus is independent of T in that. Uh, uh, let's recall some notations here. A uh, holomorphic family is also usually called smooth family in algebraic geometry. Okay, we also use notation pi to delta. Uh, in my talk, we always use this notation delta two. Uh, X to delta is a proper uh, subjective holomorphic submerge. Yes. And uh, usually K is just a uh, complex manifold, right? And, uh, okay. Uh, and the remark that uh, no, M genera, any M genus is a bimeromorphic <coughs> invariant. Uh, that means uh, for any two complex manifold x1, x2, bimorphic, and uh, compact, complex manifolds, then 
Sorry. <clears throat> Len. H P M. M X one will equal to P M X two uh, for any M integer. Right, this is the mean bimorphic invariant. And uh, actually, this is a quite useful invariant and uh, uh, property in this talk. And, uh, and also remark that that is, <clears throat> uh, we have counter example if we assume that the fibers to be in a modular class like like Roma. in 1975. Uh, case example is um, <coughs> x0 is a uh, coefficient. Three-dimensional. Simplet. Simply connected. So, the group by a discrete group, subgroup. <coughs> uh, actually, it's a kind of example. To question. Actually, here, x0 is not a uh, killer or even in Fujiki class C. Okay, uh, let's recall a quite famous uh, much related uh, result by Shaw. in 1998 and uh, 2002. Uh, here we should consider a projective family, x2 delta is a smooth projective family. And uh, then we can get deformation whereas uh, that is for any a positive integer pm xt is dependent <coughs> of t in delta. Okay, we just need a quite a simple condition that that is smooth projective family. Uh, let's compare this theorem with the question by the main. And uh, here we just uh, need to assume that uh, actually fiberwise project, right? You can say that this is a fiberwise project here. Uh, actually, I have reported this paper several times, and uh, some friends asked me whether there are some example for that uh, projectile, five-wise uh, projectile, but not projectile. Actually, I asked the uh, Professor Waizen, um, she gave me an example. <coughs> For <coughs> five-wise projectile family but not, but not project <coughs> family. Okay. Uh, actually, you can get an example like this. Let's call the Lagrange. Family. 
está belíssimo. Vamos. Ah, Rádio Keila. Manfold. Yes. Actually, you also can get a, a county example for this in Fujiki's paper. Uh, I think it should be 1978 and uh, remark 4.3 mm, and uh, maybe many examples. But here we should uh, notice the, uh, the total space here. Actually, it's also compact. And also, I think in this example also, the uh, total space is compact. I don't know whether there are example to show um, this kind of example that the total space is not uh, the example. So the total space, total space, sorry. Total space, not. Compact, um, but uh, as we we believe that uh, we should have this kind of counter example for this, mm. but for the moment, uh, if we, we we don't find it, and, uh, um, okay, okay, let's go to our the secondary motivation for. This paper and uh, actually uh, last year joint also joint with uh, Professor Tsai. We got a uh, serum <clears throat> on deformation. Sorry. Limit. And uh, actually, it's also a quite, deep, I think, uh, not easy conjecture. And uh, yes, here I assume we also consider the uh, smooth family of. Mm, compact, compact, and dimensional um, manifolds, such that the following conditions. The first condition is uh, xt uh, is much mm. and. Uh, Uh, for t in an uncountable subset in that, and uh, also each x t each that means uh, any x t should satisfy the following. One of the following conditions. The first is you should satisfy the deformation in various of H01. K is the Hodge number. of type zero one or at means uh stonical doctrine magic omega that means uh, partial omega uh, here we just uh, 
um, distinguish the magic and uh, is fundamental form. And so here you can see it's just the one one form here, one one form. So it's debug exact. Um, yes, this notation was introduced by Dan Popovich in nine uh, in two thousand thirteen. Yes, and uh, is a notation stronger. Then the so called Gaudian magic. Uh, this kind of magic will exist uh, on any complex manifold, but uh, this is a restricted condition for complex manifold. And that means not every complex manifold can admit this kind of magic. And then we can get the following results. The first one is and O X T. Ah, more usual. And the second one is a byproduct of this theorem. And uh, we can get a bimorphic embedding for some uh, integer. There is a bimorphic embedding. Uh, that means we have a foil in community diagram. That means here x and uh, here is y. Y is a sub variety in Pn by delta. And uh, this is all over delta. Actually, by the definition of a projective family and homomorphism, you can know here is just a uh, uh, Just the projective movism, right? And uh, our family pi is a bimorphic to a projective movism. You can know actually, uh, actually, this is just a definition. By definition of movism, you can know pi here is a movism family. You can see also this is just a definition of by of, of projective morphism. And uh, actually also we can uh, add one uh, definition of the so-called smooth family. And uh, can, okay, uh, it's another definition of projective family. And uh, just the mean you can have a, uh, Group nine bundle, the so called variety. The M nine bundle here. The uh, so called uh, variety and uh, relatively ample morphism, you can uh, nine bundle, you can just uh, roughly uh, consider it is a uh, uh, locally ample global nine bundle, yes, and, and even five wise ample. Uh, name bundle. Mm. So, but uh, you just you have to distinguish the with the so called uh, uh, five wise projective family, just the uh, like example by Voisin and uh, Fujiki and many others. Okay, this is the main theorem of our work last year. And uh, you can uh, actually you can see uh, in a moment that. Uh, this result is quite uh, useful. Pi k is a Morrison family. So um, let's go to. <clears throat> Actually, we also want to set up some convention. And uh, the first one is convention here. Okay. And the first one is a complex variety. Uh, Actually, we consider it is an irreducible. Reducible and reduced 
complex analytic space. <clears throat> and uh, a family. We also noted as pi that x2 delta is a proper subjective. Morphism. And the uh, case fiber is connected, just the connection. Connected, but possible reducible fibers. And, uh, and we know which is automatically flat. Uh, here, I don't uh, give the definition of flatness. Actually, you can consider the flatness, flatness just the singular analog of smoothness. That means it's some kind of singular family. You can just consider it like this. And actually, we just talk about uh, Morrison family. Let, give, let me give a definition here. Uh, a general definition for Morrison variety. We call a compact, complex variety. Mm, M is Morrison. If is algebraic dimension, algebraic dimension AM equals dimension CM, or there you see a global <coughs> name bundle. Big, which is big. Mm, sorry. Big over M. There are also many different uh, uh, characterization of Moshis. It's quite an uh, interesting class of complex manifolds or varieties. And uh, actually, we will use this big nine bundle characterization of Morrison varieties many times. And also, uh, okay, uh, actually, we have defined the last code Morrison family here. So we can go to the theorem by Takayama, and it's quite useful and uh, for deformation variance. Serum, Takayama, Yama, in 2007, in here we just assume pi x2 delta is a Murchison family. Here we don't assume that uh, this family is smooth, just a flat family. Here, since here delta is one dimension and smooth, right? So we can, uh, and also assume, assume that each fiber, each fiber has only canonical singularities. That means Uh, here we let's re <coughs> denote that each fiber by xt. That means 
uh, following conditions. First one is the KXT is a Q Cartier divisor. Here KST is uh, the canonical divisor of XT. That means there is, is the, um, some P integer positive, such that uh, PKXT is cut here. And then the second condition is for any or there exist a resolution notion of xt like this pi xt prime to xt such that kx sorry we use another notation for this and uh, maybe and uh, PQST. And uh, low? Low, okay. Low. KX T prime minus low star. And uh, KX T is positive. And uh, we have these conditions we can call XT has any canonical singularities. Then we can get the deformation inverse and uh, for any M positive H zero mm, PM XT is independent dependent of Here, PM XT is uh, M genus of uh, XT. It's defined as dimension C H zero X T uh, K X T tilde. Mm, power M. Uh, sorry. Should appear. For any smooth bimorphic model X tilde of XT. That means you can find, you just need to find a smooth biomorphic uh, manifolds um, of XT. You can define as since just that we mentioned that uh, M genus is a biomorphic invert, right? Actually, you don't even assume that uh, XT is uh, normal in some sense, just for this definition. And uh, so the remark that is in here actually once, let's remark, uh, a little remark. Once you assume that XT has any, sorry, has any, Canonical singularities. Sorry, you can get XT is irreducible. Oh, oh sorry. Maybe here we just add a, one condition for for canonical singularities. That is, XT is normal here. It's normal. Yes. XT is normal and uh, satisfy the following conditions. You can see XT has uh, any canonical singularities. Okay. 
And uh, it's quite easy to see use um, Takayama three result. And uh, plus um, our results last year. You can get the following quantity. That means here pi x2 delta is a smooth family. And, uh, and uh, each fiber satisfies uh, H01 is deformation inverse. Or has a strong the Gaudian metric, and also uncountable fibers are more sure. So uh, actually, you can get uh, the deformation inverse. PM XT is independent, dependent of T for any M. Uh, in this sense, actually, we this coronary answers a question of all the these questions. Uh, feminine uh, theory uh, in a little greater generation. Generality. Uh, uh, roughly speaking, we just uh, need to uh, know we have got uh, this care uh, pi is more useful. Right in this in this case, in the following setting, pi is more useful, and uh, and the Takayama inverse tells you that uh, the family is more useful. You can get family is more useful. You can get inverse, right? So we answer the question of Professor Damayi like this and. Uh, in the remaining time, I will talk about uh, some more difficult and the more complicated case that uh, we can see the, the, the flat case. Flat family case. <clears throat> that means um, you can roughly speaking, luckily you can see the latter uh, family is possibly not smooth. Not smooth. And the first that we want to define a compact, compact variety is of general type. Genotype. Here we denote this variety is X if uh, dimension of X tilt equals dimension C X or just the dimension C X tilt. Here any smooth uh, bimorphic morphic model x tilde of x. That means the x tilde is a smooth variety and uh, bimorphic too. 
by model of equal to. X. <coughs> uh, why we can define like these things? Uh, Kodewa dimension and uh, here is the top of Kodewa, Kodewa dimension. Kodewa Iwa dimension. Kodewa dimension. It's also a uh, paramorphic word. Right. And uh, we first the uh, state of main results of us. Okay, main result. Here we can see the, the flat family X to delta is a flat family. We have two parts. The first part is if each fiber compares variety. Here we assume a variety just uh, mentioned above that uh, variety should be considered as irreducible. So xt at t in delta mm, has any any canonical singularities. And uh, uncountable. Uh, fibers there in. Uh, of genotype. Of genotype. And then we have the deformation invariance, that means for any M positive PM XT is independent of of t and uh, the second result you can see you can see consider this case should be the genotype case and the second one should be considered the anti canon uh, big anti canonical bundle case that means also we need each compact variety xt at t is non zero in delta has any canonical singularities. And uh, uncountable fibers layer in. Satisfy uh, kiss anti canon commando. Yes, T. Mm, yes, it's big. Dimension C, S, T. And then we have all pre general vanish. Yes, for for any M T. That means uh, all progenitors equal zero. Let me check it. Yes, here is an, our main result. Just as I mentioned, the first case you can consider the genotype case. The second case is the anti-canonical. Big anti canonical bundle case. Actually, we just uh, mentioned the definition for this. Actually, in here we assume that uh, 
laborage has any canonical singularities. Actually, we can get uh, some positive integer p and uh, such that uh, k x is cut here. And uh, also that means O p x is a nine bound, right? Nine bound. That means, mm, so we can define uh, k kx star and uh, equals define 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 equals to k x star right so here's a remark for the definition in a second term okay. oh sorry we missed the notation k should be p right uh, right. Okay. Uh, there are also uh, two remarks. Uh, the first one is the biggest assumptions are irreducible. No, sorry, uh, indispensable assumptions. Uh, indispensable. Indispensable. Uh, excuse me. There is a question in the in the chat. Maybe you can answer that. Uh, sorry. There is a question in the chat. Uh, after each narrow upper semi-continuous in flat band. Yes. Yes. And uh, I just wonder. Next, I want to explain why bigness assumptions are indispensable. That means if you assumptions, uh, the same will fail. Right. Uh, due to also Japanese mathematicians, K. Nashikushi. In 1983, uh, case example, uh, actually, a counter example, counter examples to uh, lower semi continue, continue it of Kodeva dimension, Kodeva dimension. Uh, on the degeneration degenerations of a service. Uh, let me <laughs> explain some notations here and uh, what is degeneration. Actually, degeneration is like this. Take example for also pi from X to delta. Usually we assume that uh, here also assume that uh, the two space is smooth, but this family not uh, smooth. Not smooth. This family not smooth, but uh, justified. And uh, here is a disk, right? And uh, but the punctured family is smooth. That means pi inverse. Delta star. Delta star is the puncture disk. Delta star is delta set minus zero and the two delta star. Pi star Q is smooth. So the center fiber X zero can be possibly rather singular. Possibly rather. Rather singular. But the general fiber XT, the so called general fiber, is smooth. Is smooth. 
this is the so called degeneration. And uh, actually, this is a conjecture that uh, that Kodewa dimension will will yes lower lower should be chopped down and uh, in a special fiber that means Kodewa dimension X T should uh, larger than Kodewa X zero. This is a conjecture for surface case. And uh, actually, first uh, it was posed for any dimension complex variety. And uh, actually, this is not true in mm, smooth, uh, in flat family. And uh, Nishikoshi give you kind of examples to this. So actually, we can get the following kind of examples. We just mentioned two kind of examples for this. The first one is mm, the general fiber. is a rational surface. As you can see, rational surface actually is projective, right? And, uh, and all progenera is uh, uh, minus infinity and uh, uh, more, all progenera vanish. So Kodewa dimension should be minus infinity. And uh, the special fiber, and then that's also called a singular fiber, contain the two components. The first the component is the aneric surface, aneric surface. Kiss progena should look like this. Uh, if n is even. N is even, the progenitor is one. And uh, if N is odd, the progenitor should be zero. And uh, another point, another component is um, whole surface. Is is well known that uh, all case Kodewa dimension should be uh, minus infinity. So you can see we drop the we drop the beginning assumption in our theorem, we can get some kind of example to deformation inverse. So the beginning is quite important. And, but there is a quite important point that is uh, our single fiber also assume that uh, it should satisfy the beginning and some uh, condition more so, right? So, and uh, I mean, if the single fiber is good enough, we can also have the possibility to keep the deformation inverse. But uh, your single fiber just uh, has some component in hop surface, not in the Fujiki class, the deformation inverse will fail. And then the second uh, counter example is the general fiber. Uh, it's a billion, a billion surface. And the Kodewa dimension is zero, and the singular fiber mm. at least uh, contains a component of a surface with Kodewa dimension is one. Yes. So if we deal this uh, deformation inverse problem, you should uh, take a much more careful. And uh, there are many chaps, there are many, many chaps. So um, you should see a lot of uh, examples, counter examples to this question. And uh, the second remark is um, dimension is zero. X, Kx power uh, star. K okay, is the anti-canonical, anti-canonical divisor, and or divisor mm, as, as you like. So, power m is not is not uh, bimorphic. Bimorphic. You right. You can find the counter example in Sakis paper, maybe in nineteen 
also in 1980s. So you should. So you can see our statement uh, uh, is some kind of different care. You can see care is just the same T is in the whole disk, but care T is non zero in the whole in a disk, right? So uh, actually, the proof is items is quite different. Mm. You first uh, do proper modification of the total space first, but then you cannot do the proper modification here. So you, you should take care. So. Mm, okay. Um, maybe I can have some time to state our our second main theorem, the so called Joe type lemma. Okay, we just uh, can consider uh, the so called one parameter degeneration. One parameter. Degeneration. Uh, the so called one parameter that means here disk is in C. So we can we call this degeneration one parameter. And the X here is smooth, just mentioned in the last slide. So and uh, each fiber this is condition, each fiber is projective. And uh, uncountable, uncountable fibers they are in uh, of general type or have big canonical. Uh, sorry, it should be anti canonical. Anti canonical. Nine bundles. Then we can get the following result. Okay, pi is. Uh, Pseudo project family. Yeah, here is a new. Sorry. Yeah, here is a new notion we introduced here. That's so called the pseudo project family. Let me explain it. That means. We have um, a projective family here and uh, biomorphic to um, this family X to K. K is pi P. And uh, this is a projective family, projective morphism, projective morphism, and uh, such that there is a diversity non non. Not all, not uh, empty. Mm. You open generosity of mm. in Delta. Uh, it's not empty, mm. such that uh, Delta set minus U is uh, an analytic subset, analytic subset. And uh, for any T in U. Uh, XT is bimorphic to bimorphic to biholomorphic to, sorry, biholomorphic to pi P inverse T. Uh, actually, it's easy to see that uh, this definition is a little stronger than the uh, projective uh, motion of mm, this notion. 
is should should be stronger than the standard uh, definition uh, uh, or algebraic family. This is the, our second main theorem. Actually, why we call this kind of lemma should be the so called uh, lemma. Let's give a few minutes to recall a standard uh, lemma. Uh, we just uh, mentioned a special case, Zo lemma. Uh, that means we have we have proper uh, scheme x to over some field k. K is the field, and uh, this is a proper scheme here. We can find the project uh, x um, prime. This is a projective scheme over k, and also a birational morphism such that uh, x prime to <coughs> to x is a birational morphism. So it's quite a Similar to the standard zero type lemma, zero lemma. So we call this kind of uh, lemma the so called zero type lemma. So um, okay, it's quite useful zero uh, lemma in at least in Grothendieck Riemann theorem, right? And, uh, you want to, in some sense you just need need to prove um, GR theorem for the Projective case, you can prove the proof case. Actually, this is a, at least the one main function of the lemma. Okay. Okay, now we still have half an hour. Let us explain the main uh, methods of uh, our main theorem general <coughs> strategy. Uh, actually, you can both for um, inverse progenitor, also for zero type lemma. Usually, you can be divided at three steps. Uh, there is one word uh, before this statement uh, that uh, actually we just use some uh, tiny parts of uh, these three steps. And that means mm, we don't use the first chance of um, this structure. And actually, you can see we use the canonical bundle, anti canonical bundle to uh, prove, to state of main theorems. Actually, in the general case, just uh, mean we drop the canonical bundle or anti canonical bundle conditions for a main theorem. We don't know how to prove. We just uh, uh, this the uh, one general strategy for these two main theorems. Okay. At the end, I uh, will uh, list the uh, conjecture. We each we each must based on the uh, deformation in one progenitor and also Nakayama's lower semi-continuity conjecture. Okay. That first state, the first uh, step, the first um, we follow. Follow mm, the reduction of Takayama. In his proof of semi lower semi continuity. So, Okay. Uh, uh, in both settings, we're given a family, right? It's a X to delta. This is a family, usually a flat family, just a flat. And, uh, we can give a proper modification. Proper 
crop up modification. Okay. To obtain XS, such that the XS is smooth, get a new family. Actually, the total space is smooth, so we can by the code generic smoothness to get. The singular locus is just the analytic uh, subset of delta. So we can actually assume that um, x s to s is, <coughs> is a one parameter, one parameter degeneration. And then uh, the problem here is, or trouble may occur here is that uh, the singular fiber, the singular fiber X zero is also possibly rather singular, right? Rather singular. So we can get, so do another operation that's a code. Semi-stable reduction, semi-stable reduction of K. Uh, oh, sorry, we have a moment. Check my name. Mm, should be. Um, KM okay. uh, such that uh, we get another uh, total space access to the delta. So another family such that uh, also the total space is smooth. And uh, the good thing here is that uh, we can such that uh, X zero, the single fiber X zero, become a simple normal closing divisor, simple, normal, closing, divisor of X, SS. So that seems to become easier. And notice the mm, semi-stable reduction, not a biomorphic operation, but it's also useful, quite useful in at least the consider Inverse progenitor. This is a hemorrhagic, right? And uh, so let me also recall we mentioned the Takayama's lower semi continuity theorem. Okay. Uh, the key point is also that pi. The family here is a Moishison family. Moishison family. And, uh, and the X zero, the support of zero reduced part should be the sum X I, I in cap I. Yes. And uh, XT is not general fiber. And uh, you can get the following lower semi continuity theorem. PXI. Uh, KXI is irreducible, right? So can you, you can define the progenitor here. I in I is uh, lower than PM XT. This is also called the lower semi continuity for progenitor for any um, positive integer. Actually, this theorem is all used uh, our second time of main theorem one uh, to, obtain, uh, to obtain that uh, all progenitor ones. And, and uh, you can just uh, mention that the key problem is a uh, key point in. Takayama theorem is we should have the family should be more right? 
So actually, the foreign step, we just wanted to prove the involved in family should be more So we use the foreign two steps to prove the family be more The first step is the construct. Uh, nice global family global land bundle over the total space x uh, by our theorem here i x two delta is a one parameter parameter degeneration. And uh, such that they exist uncountable. Uncountable fibers. XT admit big nine bundles. LT and uh, with the following property, we call it a subjectivity condition. The first the 10 class of LT come from the restriction of H2 X on XT. And also assume, assume all fibers satisfy the deformation in one of hot number H01. Then we can obtain a global nine bundle. <clears throat> global nine bundle L over X such as L restricted to X T. Here T is not zero. Uh, a big. This is the uh, second step to construct a, a global line bound over X to have some nice property. Uh, the so-called nice property here is that L restricted to XT should be big, right? So uh, why we need this step is because of the third step. Actually, we can prove here pi is more use of, of biomorphic embedding. Mm. So, also the biomorphic embedding theorem. Uh, the setting is almost uh, the same the uh, previous theorem. X to T is a uh, one parameter. Parameter um, degeneration. And uh, of Moshe's manifolds. That means the general fiber here is Moshe's manifolds. So we, why we assume that the canonical bundle is big, uh, just because we just consider the parameter of the interaction motions. So, and assume, assume that is the global nine bundle over X and uh, such that. L is equal to x t. Okay, t is not zero. It's big. Then we can get the following by moving in body. That means for some n in in n, that is a biomorphic in body like as follows. That means X by moving to S in PN 
by delta over delta k by definition k is projective right and uh, actually you can get this part actually is more so we can prove we can prove pi is more strong here. So this is the complete uh, um, our <coughs> main strategy for uh, both atoms. So um, just the, as I mentioned, that we do not do not use the first chance. of this strategy. That means uh, uh, we use, we use, we use a canonical bound of Kx or K star. Mm, so it's uh, some sense is quite special, very special. Um, so, but um, according the uh, examples or counter examples, uh, Mm, in our hands that uh, actually we can give the following general conjecture. Mm, it's quite a uh, natural. And, uh, we can see that pi, pi to x delta uh, flat um, over open disk in C and such that all fibers have any canonical singularities, singularities. And uh, just that I mentioned it, if you assume that the fiber C has any kind of singularities that uh, you can, you can obtain that the fibers actually are irreducible, right? Irreducible. And this, Mm. These fibers are all are all most varieties, or even in Fujiki class. class. C. That means bimorphic to morphic to compact color manifolds. Right. And, uh, so we can get uh, for any uh, integer positive. Yeah, xt is independent of and of t delta. Actually, this conjecture much inspired by the following conjectures. The first one is Nakayama's Nakayama's conjecture. on the lower semi-continuity. Uh, of for a general. On the, the degeneration. And also quite famous Conjecture by Shaw. The conjecture on um, deformation inverse. Of prisoner uh, in the Kayla case. on the, the smooth deformation. 
That means the family is smooth, yeah, smooth family. And, uh, and uh, all the fibers are uh, calamine force, right? And uh, we also have some proposal by Professor Damayi, maybe in the early of this year, just this year. If you're interested, you can read the case paper. <clears throat> and, uh, oh. Let's see uh, my talk. I think we just prefer so much. So, mm. okay, mm, maybe I, I stop here. Thank you. Thank you for the wonderful talk. Now it's time for questions and remarks. Yeah. Uh, so I have one question. Uh, 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 so I have one question. Uh, so for your first step, you used the result of Takayama. Uh, so for his routes, uh, uh, we don't uh, need to add. Yeah. Uh, so for the next page. So for the next page. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, so for his uh, low low. Uh, so for his uh, lower semi-continuity results. Uh, uh, so he don't need to assume any assumption of the section uh, on, on xi uh, about it, about. Uh, uh, we don't need to assume that uh, for the section of uh, pm xi, it should uh, vanish. Uh, on some intersection place or? I think no, just the, we just the need the uh, XI is uh, irreducible. You can have enough information here. And uh, actually we use this the lower sum continuity because we can prove XT, the general fiber here. General fiber is zero, so each component. Okay, okay. Oh, so, so, uh, so, so, uh, so I see, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, so I see, yeah, right, right, right. Okay. Yes, lower sum continuity, yes. Uh -huh. So in this case, it means that. Uh, uh, so it, uh, in, so in this case, it means that. Uh, uh, so in this case, uh, uh, so it means that. Uh, uh, so yeah, for, for the central fiber, is simple no more crossing. So in this case, uh, for any sections uh, uh, on, on its central fiber, we can extend it uh, to its neighborhood. So for his proof of what he really yeah. Mm, actually in case proof, I think it should be this should be lower some continuity. Let me think about, oh okay. Actually you you should use some modification and the resolution to separate each component XI and then you use or some attack Okay. Uh, so in his case uh, uh, so in his case uh, uh, he can uh, he uh, he can in fact uh, Separated the sections uh, because it's normal crossing. Uh, yes, I think so. In the um, yes, you by let me go to the previous slide. Okay. So for uh, so for his central fiber, uh, so uh, so for his central fiber x zero, what type of assumption on its central fiber? Actually, x. Is, the components of X zero can be rather singular, and you use uh, the proper mm -hmm. multiplication and uh, some stable reduction, and also some resolution to separate each component. Mm -hmm. This joint, I mean, the final uh, state of uh, final position of X zero actually are disjoint, and then also smooth. Then you use a sort of bush to extend it, mm -hmm. and then uh, you just uh, trace each component actually in your proper multiplication and uh, maybe and the uh, resolution you can add some components to x0 right yes yes and uh, and then just the uh, you in this step you just uh, trace each component of the x0 the central fiber and then, i mean xi and uh, so the final state of uh, these components are disjoint and uh, smooth then you use also that have good to extend, I mean, extend the uh, MK. MK is canonical bundle. And uh, actually, 
if you go to this step, the end of this step, I think more more or less is quite a, quite similar to the smooth case, right? Yeah, um, but in the smooth case, uh, what we can add a, uh, is the connector bundle uh, says uh, sets me that uh, for the poop uh, uh, for the whole bundle found. Over to the space, right? Yes, uh, yes, uh, because uh, because uh, because uh, what uh, we really need is uh, to have uh, uh, some positivity for its uh, its normal direction. Um, mm -hmm. But uh, in this case, uh, uh, so for the normal direction of x i, uh, it's not. Uh, 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 okay. Yeah, so um, actually, this family is more shizong. More shizong, you by some kinds of reduction, you can make this family become a projective family. So, yeah, yeah, okay. So, yeah. Uh -huh. so why we should do some, why this reduction, that's uh -huh. one goal for to make the yeah. reduced family to become, uh, uh -huh. yes, uh, actually, after the reduction, you can get the family. Family is projective, and also x zero should be come like this x i and uh, x j. J is the, the added components, and uh, this i is disjoint, disjoint, and uh, also smooth. So the uh, after this reduction, actually the case become more or less. Mm -hmm. Quite similar to the smooth case, mm, so you can use the uh, shells, the two power, or just the points one power. Mm -hmm. uh, so, mm. Mm -hmm. uh, argument. So, uh, I'm so sorry. I I don't uh, explain too much uh, the history of this topic. Uh, so, <laughs> actually, there uh, are many many works uh, such as uh, uh, points simplification and. Uh, yeah. Uh, so, uh, so, uh -huh. okay. uh, so for another question is that, uh, so, uh, so in fact, uh, so for step two, uh, you need to assume that uh, for the, uh, you need to assume that uh, for H zero one is, uh, is invariant. Okay. Yes. Uh, but uh, for your main theorem, uh, we don't need to assume this. Uh, so, uh, so I didn't tell you, uh, so I didn't. Uh, Really understand your statute. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, so, uh, so I mean that. Uh, so for your main, uh, so, so for your main theorem, uh, you said that. Uh, so for uh, uncountable fibers are of general type. Uh, but in this case, you don't need to assume that uh, for its H zero one is in invariant. Uh, uh, the, the, so, so the, the key point is clear. Is you assume that the uncountable fibers have a uh, general type. You can use the, the so-called uh, deformation density that uh, uh, each fiber actually is more strong. And uh, yes, if you have uh, each fiber is more strong, you can obtain H zero one by a uh, uh, Fourier degeneration at uh, E one actually. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Ah, so, 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 so I see. Yes, I will use the so called the deformation. And that's, I mean, if your XT case. Ah, okay, I see, I see, I see. Yes, okay. Mm -hmm. Actually, this condition is quite easy to satisfy, mm -hmm. but if we want to verify S is rather, rather difficult, we just use yeah, the yeah, 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 bound yeah. to uh -huh. verify this kind of. So actually our paper is just uh, in some sense is a primary state. Um, primary state. Oh, it seems that there are enough works to do. Yes. Mm -hmm. to do yes. Okay, thank you. Uh, I also have a question. Since here you're talking about some complex analytic setup, I'm wondering if you can get some results from your results about the deformation invariance of Fourier genera of uh, some algebraic spaces. The algebraic sense. Uh, do we mean use the algebraic method to prove? Uh, no, but you know, my changing varieties correspond to algebraic spaces in algebraic geometries. I'm just wondering if you can get some information 
for the algebraic spaces, say, if you have a, an, an algebraic space over some RT local ring, can you get some results about the invariance of PM, the period general? Uh, do mean, sorry, I got another question so well. Do mean use our result to get some algebraic information for this? Yeah, so, exactly, for the for family of algebraic spaces. Yes, actually in algebraic geometry, really, uh, mm, the mathematician also a similar family is the projective. We just assume five was projective. We actually- uh, but, but, but I don't mm. mean the, the projective case. In the projective case, I know, mm. uh, now I'm just considering the case of algebraic spaces, which correspond to Moisheng family by the Artin theorem. I don't know. We, we actually, we try to understand this uh, topic, so not much is known uh, for me, so. All right. <laughs> No yes, problem. yes, a little, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, ah, yeah, so, uh, so I searched the paper of Takayama. Uh, mm -hmm. So for his case, it seems that, uh, so for his central paper, he need also to assume that it's of canonical singularity. Or... Yes, we should uh, okay, okay. assume that oh, each fiber oh, oh, is... Okay, uh, so, uh, so in this case, it's quite, uh, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yes. Each fiber should has kind of okay. Uh, so even for its central fiber, we need to assume that it's so. Yeah. Okay. Actually, this you, I read the case paper very carefully, and uh, I think this uh, assumption is used to guarantee the upstream continuity. Mm -hmm. That is the only function of this assumption in, mm -hmm. for my for my understanding. Okay. Uh, yes. yeah, so, uh, so, so, uh, so in this case, uh, for his central fiber, it's, uh, it's of canonical singularity. Mm. Uh, so, it, in, uh, so in this case, uh, uh, so, uh, so if with central fiber has, a, uh, so for its uh, central fiber has uh, several components, it's, uh, uh, in this case, it's canonical singularity, it's in which sense? Actually, it's, it's, it's not a normal, that. so in this case, it's in which sense? I don't know. Actually, if you assume the fiber has a kind of singularity, actually, in some sense, you assume that the fiber just the irreducible care. Yeah. Yes, why? Why? That means actually normal, you can get the, the locally irreducible. irreducible. And uh, we assume the family has connected the fibers, right? Actually, yeah. locally, locally singularized plus connected, connected, uh, you can get the irreducible. Mm -hmm. We checked it, right? Mm -hmm. So, if you assume the fiber has connected singularities, so you can get that the fiber is irreducible. Yeah. So I don't know how to define the, if you you for you you want to define the variety not irreducible. I, I think just that as you don't know how to define a progenitor if the variety or complex is not irreducible. I think it should is quite a, I mean not so in, implicit and so yes. yes. So yes, um, you have many components you you should take care and. Uh, Maybe you can deem the each components some sum or something like that. Should, but you should take care of that. Mm. Yeah, so, uh, uh, so, uh, so, so what I don't really understand is that, uh, so in this case, uh, so it means that, uh, well, if it's, uh, we, we, we assume that it's central fiber is, uh, is normal, and in this case, it will imply that it's uh, irreducible. Yes, yes, exactly. So, uh, so if you uh, so in this case, uh, so it's in which sense that uh, 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 x zero has several component uh, x one, x two. Actually, we have no many components here; just the one component. Yes. Yeah, so, uh, so okay. Uh, so in this case, uh, uh, so that means that uh, so for x zero reduced part, it's in fact uh, it has only one component. One component. Okay, yes. okay, I see. Uh -huh. okay yes, Just okay. then, the, 
Takayama's lower sim continuous is quite general. In a general case, you can think mm -hmm. it like this. And, uh, and uh, you can see that the case theorem, lower theorem continuity is quite general, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay, it's quite general. Actually, in our, but in our second term of main theorem one, we just uh, can do not assume the number of components of the central fiber. In, since we can get x t has the vanish m pre general, so case each component has the mm -hmm. yes vanishing m genus. So mm -hmm. we can relax this kind of conditions. But uh, but for the inverse pre general, the general type case, we cannot uh, relax this condition. Right. Mm -hmm. Yes, you can see k is t is not uh, zero. So actually, in some sense, we do not assume x zero irreducible. Mm -hmm. Some other questions? <clears throat> All right, there seems to be no more questions. So thank you very much for the talk. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much.